Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on a very hot um, Christmas approach day. A few days away from Christmas now and I really um, felt today that I really needed to do something bright and uplifting. So bright and uplifting it is. I have a 60 centimetre by 30 canvas and I'm using the global paints. Oh dear. Oh, back again, back again. I had to stop filming because my hubby phoned me up to say he was stuck in the tractor. Anyway, catastrophe alerted and welcome again. Let me start again. Okay, today I'm painting with global paints which are now fully available in Australia. They will be via uh, they will be all available on Amazon for the uh, Europe and the USA by the end of January hopefully. So everybody will be able to get them. Um, global paints, yes. So we'll we're um, giving them a burl again and I'll explain as I go along. As I said, I do want to do something bright and uplifting. It's what I really feel I need today. I don't want anything dull or bland. It has to be bright and uplifting. So this is just pre-made white that I have made up in this big container. So it's just easier for me to have the um, paint pre-made up and I'm going to just smooth it out over my canvas nicely and um, I will show you a previous one that I did, a bright and uplifting one that I did for my brother and his wife and I have resined it and it looks beautiful. Not that I resin many much stuff, I usually just coat with varnish uh, because when you end up resin something on top of your artwork it can you know make a very expensive painting if you're trying to sell them so I don't resin everything but definitely the smaller ones are well worth giving the nice coat of resin so, okay I think that's just about oh, just about giving me a nice cover there I will do the very ends with my fingers in a little minute. So for now, I've got that. And I want to do a nice garland of colour. I really want to do something bright. So without further ado, here we go. The colours I've mixed today are the Global Green Light. My pouring medium is in the drop-down box underneath this. And I am going to do a nice kind of garland style. Not gangam style, garland style. <laughs> so this is the warm red. Really going all out with these bright colours today. Go back through. I'm actually doing the... Um, the metallic copper, putting a bit of that in there too. I mean, those colours there just look so Christmassy, don't they? But um, hopefully, I'm going to turn that around. It's my the noise you can hear is my big poodle um, munching on ice because it's a very hot, warm day, and I've given the dog some ice in water, and they love it. This is the turquoise. So it's no rhyme or reason, um, this particular layering, I just find that it just comes out beautifully in the style that I particularly do. And then for the wattle green, uh, wattle green, wattle yellow, it's called wattle. Benson, you're a noisy eater. A 
and then I'm gonna add some of my berry delicious so I've just made this up and this was out of the uh, global magenta and I added a squirt of dark blue and a squirt of black and it makes this gorgeous kind of eggplant or black cherry lovely so it looks quite dark there but it'll make the it'll make everything come up beautifully and I'm going to just put some of the um, I have the, oh, the metallic pearl now in global which is great because not only use the metallic pearl but I make a lot of my metallic colors custom colors out of that metallic pearl so give this a burl and see what they look like it's looking really bright and uplifting already so there you go I'll do a little squirt of just the white over the top as well. And what I wanted to do on camera today was because you've all asked me what am I doing to get this lovely lace with the Amsterdam paint and float troll. So I'm going to make it up. You asked me if I could just, if you have to just use black or white for the lovely swipes. But, uh, you know, the lacy swipes, which I'm calling the Aussie slides. But I'm going to try the yellow and float troll. So it's just basically putting a good squirt in your container. Not too much because I'm only going to use this particular one for swiping. I have float troll in this container that I keep in the smaller container instead of my big one. Um, and then it's just basically mix the flow troll with the Amsterdam for whatever reason the Amsterdam paints just creates a different kind of lacing with flow troll like a really um, intricate lacing that the other paints will do it too but just seems that this has got a little bit of an edge for some reason the Amsterdam paint will lace up without yeah without without putting silicone in it I'm not sure if there's already silicone in Amsterdam paint never even thought of that one before so it's just a nice creamy consistency you can do it a little bit thinner because you're swiping if you like but when you're doing a card slide so hence the Aussie because it's Aussie flow troll and it's a card slide so and it just does yeah it, it just creates lovely lacy effects so I just wanted to do that on camera because so many people had asked me what do you actually do and that is all. So then that container I can put the lid on and save it for lots of things. So I haven't swiped or done the slide in the yellow as yet. So this is a test. It may work, it may not. So I'm just going to put a bit more white on this. Oops. Bit more white down here because I want to blow this out a little bit and I will put a little bit of this Amsterdam paint along this edge so I hopefully get the lovely lace Yeah, it's uh, you know yellow as my slide color so it was something different than black or blue so let's give this a little go that back there Benson be quiet so I'm going to use my little um, mini blower uh, if you're looking for them in Australia the link I've got below at Capriol Shabby Chic they have all of the global paint range now um, as well as lot, lots and the Amsterdam and PBO and Montmartre there's so many they have everything so that's why it's good because they supply everything but if you're looking overseas then definitely look on Amazon for these and for everything so I'm going to 
just try and do a bit of blow, it might blow too much. Just take it nice and slow. Any other blowing I want there, I'll just do with my uh, straw, which is this one. Oh, the lace. I'll bring the camera down. The lace in is just beautiful. <laughs> Benny boy, where is his trousers? That's gorgeous. I like that. I'm not sure if I want any blowing down this way. I think I'll just save that for the balloon. But the other thing I'm going to do with this, I'm going to, I've just cut up some pieces. I'm going to cut up some pieces, smaller pieces of card, probably about like that. I want to try this. Oh, this lacing is absolutely gorgeous so that was just that anyhow oh poops oh my goodness I've got a, oh i've got lovely lacing in it <laughs> never mind there's nothing that can't be fixed so i'm just gonna try so oh, dipping in the clean card would be a good i'm dipping my card in this lacing I'm just going to see what effect it now gives me to go through with the card and the lacing. I just want to get some of that, um, wow, the purple, that looks beautiful. Benson, are you not going to leave that ice alone? Wow, wow, wow. That's stunning. That's so lovely. Well, you can just add as much or as little hairy fairy things in it as you choose but that is gorgeous looks kind of like an under the ocean and how the um the grasses under the ocean yeah there is underwater grasses i have seen it myself but i'll bring you down because this lacing is just beautiful really lovely so 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 that's a stunner I really like that. So now my, what do I do to swipe in it? Maybe I'll swipe. With my piece of plastic, I've got swipe. Oh, holy dooly. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this lacing. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Mm, okay, Benson. Get your big nose out of it. I'll bring the camera down. I need to show you this before I continue. Here we go. Look at this lacing. It's just like gems truly is like gems just appearing and then the lacing in those swipes that I did with the Aussie flow troll oh my goodness look at that Benson I am not talking to you there he is there's Benson my paint for 
There's been some. Don't put your nose in my paint. So there you go. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Really lovely. Hope you like it too. So let's press on. Doke. Let's press on. I'm not worried about this because I will be ballooning down that area. Um, just trying to find my balloon. It's unless it's deflated. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's it's a goner. No. The idea would be normally if you're having trouble doing balloon kisses is to leave it at this stage for the paint to absorb into the canvas and dry off a little. You will find it produces far nicer kisses if the paint has dried off a bit. Not if it's real tacky because then you'll, it'd stick to the balloon, but if it's absorbed into the canvas and it, it kind of self levels you will find it a lot easier to do balloon kissing. Is this balloon not going to blow up? Of course it's not. It's got a big hole in it. Oh. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> I'm not having a good day today. That's more than enough for this um, size that I want to do on this particular canvas. Nearly got my gloved finger caught in there, but there you go. Okay, let's get moving along. Let me see what I can do with this at this stage. Oh, that color. Yes, that would be gorgeous. To... I've got a canvas sitting here that was um, previously used, so I'll just push some of the balloon kisses onto the canvas. So if you find that your paint all sinks back in when you're balloon kissing, just uh, go in a second time, but after you've wiped your balloon off, because otherwise it could just go um, muddy. So, wowzers, trousers. I will just merrily go along doing this because I love it. So yeah, just pushing your balloon in. You can push it quite firmly. If you've got the paint at the right consistency, it shouldn't pull away from the canvas. You can use your balloon to uh, dip the side of your canvas too. So I don't want to do balloon kissing in all of this lovely lace. But these balloon kisses, I don't know, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? That doesn't look so nice, but there's nothing that you can't fix with a balloon, she says. So that will be fine when a bit of it has dried off. So yeah, I think my paint needs to dry off a little. And I do what I just told you to do is come back and balloon kiss it when it's dried off. But the beautiful, beautiful, bright and vibrant in this I will be back. Well, I'm back in here. I've done a few more balloon kisses. Now I've bought my little balloon. This uh, Well, it's a normal size balloon, but I've just filled it this amount with water. It just gives another look over the bigger balloon kisses. Even when you balloon kiss this over the top of the bigger balloon kisses, it gives a really intricate look to the whole thing. It makes it, yeah, really look as though somebody's taken to the brush and done some fine art in there. So it's just another little idea for you to use and you can embellish your paintings with it. You can do it as, as much or as little as you choose, but these tiny balloons do a wonderful job. Just add a little bit of... tiny balloon kissing so there you go guys it's just it is really lovely it is bright and uplifting that that pop of um, berry is always gorgeous in your work it can really um, lift it so I will say bye for now I will um, put some photos on at the end 
this will be one that will come up beautifully with resin because it will lift all those colours, the cells that look like gems. It's a stunner and I absolutely love it and I hope you do too. So please leave me a comment and um, I'm wishing you all really happy Christmas, happy holidays, happy whatever um, religion or belief you do just enjoy. I wish for peace and just uh, yeah some laughter and if all else with as with Christmases can cause family disruptions then get into your art room and paint <laughs> get in and paint so wait on for the photos until tomorrow guys bye for now